I just heard that the new Bioshock might take place in space, which is really, um, I don't want that to happen. Like, I, I don't want the next Bioshock to take place in space. It seems like it's going to be crap. I know it's the only logical thing to do for a Bioshock game, but still. I feel like it would just be dead space, but in first person. Anyway, end review, Far Cry 6. The game is crap. It gets worse and worse the more you play it. It's been out for... It will turn uh, three months in, like, eight days. So, let's just say three months old. After three months, there's still audio problems. The guns still don't shoot. The cars don't randomly explode anymore. But... Still, it's been three months. These things need to be fixed. Uh, as for the ending, I liked, I liked the bit where, spoilers, you know, like, he kills his son, he kills himself, um, but I feel like what he should have said is that you will inevitably become like me before killing himself, because, to be honest, if all that were to happen in real life, the people who would take over as leader of Yara, would become another communist or fascist dictator. Um, anyway. But the post-credits. Yeah, the take place after credits, post-credits. Suck. They're terrible. I mean, it's nice to see fast, or well, not see, but hear fast again. And I really like the way that, uh... Libertad is working with the pirates from Far Cry 3. Like that's that's really cool. But it sort of ruins Far Cry 3 because as far as I know, the game takes place in 2012. Yeah, exactly. I didn't know that anyone else uh, connected those two dots. Um, But basically... There's a secret ending for for sex where you skip Miami and you hear a radio saying, yeah, we're going into further lockdowns because of the coronavirus. So clearly it takes place in 2020 or 2021 or 2022. But you know, coronavirus uh, time. But Far Cry 3 is supposed to take place in 2012. How does that make sense? Because Vass died in 2012, yet he's still alive in 2020 or 2021. And that was something that I was supposed to mention in the Fast Insanity uh, DLC review. Because he makes references to stuff that came out post-2012. I can't remember any of them. Because it all happened, like, the first couple of hours in, the, in my playthrough. So by the time I actually finished it and did the review, I forgot all about it. <laughs> but say, like, he referenced Watch Dogs when Watch Dogs wasn't out. Yeah, I know that there was an E3 trailer in 2012, but I don't think that would be enough for Fast to make a reference to it. So I scrolled down a bit and I saw this. As it loads. Uh, come on. Load. I was positive to load. Yeah, so 2012, the events of Far Cry 3, including all DLC missions, take place, including the mission where you kill Vass. And then scroll to 2022. I don't know what I said, but. What's the alternate ending? Yeah, 2021, the events of Far Cry 6 take place during October. So. It's cool, but I feel like Ubisoft just sort of screwed up their own timeline so that they could do something cool. I will say something good about Far Cry 6. It's hilarious. 
Like, it does have that perfect balance between comedy and drama, especially with, like, Kick Out Ron and, and all that. Anyway, Blade Runner, Black Lotus, universally, or sorry, not yet, mixed ratings. I believe it's an adult swim original series. I watched it on Crunchyroll, however. Speaking of Crunchyroll, they've run out of advertisements. So, yeah, there's like four ad breaks in the first episode, which was only on for 20 minutes. Four ad breaks, about three or two or three ads each. Um, and only once did I get a non Crunchyroll ad. And it was for some bloody mobile game. So uh, they really need to get more ads. Uh, also, for some reason, it's in Japanese. I, I get that it's anime, but I just don't understand. Um, and the reason why I don't understand is because starring Brian Cox, Josh Dumahel. I thought there were more Americans that I recognized, or, well, you know, Westerners that I recognized. But why is there. Why is there a couple of. You know, like Josh Duhamel and Brian Cox when it's in Japanese, unless it's in American. Unless it's in English. Where do you get it in English? I know it said you can watch it on Channel 4, so maybe there, but I, I don't know. 